What is going on guys and today we are bringing you a roster update in MLB and how I'm going to do it is I'm going to show you the big big movers not none of the bronze to other bronze and stuff like that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to show you guys the big movers and where you should have made your money. And next week I'll make sure to get out a video because I'm probably going to cash out enough to make times three profit. But right here starting off Bryce Harper. This dude was an 87 and then he bumped up to a 90 and now he's a 94 making him the only diamond for left fielders and sometimes he doesn't even play left field but don't let the stats fool you guys it says 70 81 73 69 uh, I don't think we can go into him no we can't but if you go into his card he has like 90 power versus righties and maybe like 79 versus lefties or something like that. That's how they balance out the card. Another big, big move that has people scared is Robinson Cano dropping from a 95 to a 93. Kind of proving that they're not afraid to take diamonds away from people. So you can see people are trying to ship him out quick. And while we're on second baseman, another big mover was D. Gordon. Uh, he had 78 contact before and now he's got 88 and 98 speed and I'm assuming he has it we can actually go check him because I got him uh, I did buy one of him when he was 4k when the market was down so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a good cash out price for him uh, I have a bunch of people to sell but D Gordon uh, yeah 90 contact oh my god that's crazy this guy's almost guaranteed a hit and that's why Okay, because if you come over here, I got one home run with him. The average isn't good, but I play um, all-star mode, and I got one home run with him. So he's at like 20 power, but I've gotten one home run with him. So, yeah. Another dropper was Craig Krimble. He has not been able to close out a game. The Padres have been sucking ass lately. So Krimble has dropped to a 94. He needs two more, and I think he drops out. While we're on the diamond dropping, Troy Tulowitzki dropped from a 96 to a 93, but his stats are still really good, but you can see not too many people shipping him out, but he's played like ass this year, so he should drop out of diamond before the end of the year, and one of these guys should pick it up. Another big move was Todd Frazier. Uh, he's not selling for much because look at that. That guy's trying to cash out on five of them. That's just insane. He moved up to an 87, but he's got power like crazy. But he's kind of like a Jock Peterson build. It's either he hits a home run or he just doesn't hit it at all. But he went from an 83 to an 87. I also forgot to mention Jason Kipnis did go up to a gold. He was an 84, now he's an 87. D. Gordon went 86 to 89. And really, when you're looking around on the market, just look for positions like like this, like catchers. There was only these three last night. And now there's Martin and somebody dropped out. Who dropped out? Somebody dropped out really bad, I guess. I don't know. Somebody dropped out of gold. We'll talk about that, maybe. Correction, it was Chris Davis that dropped out on first base. He was an 86, now he's an 84, which he dropped out. Prince Fielder went up right on the edge of gold, so these guys would probably be good investments. Uh, I don't know when, but they should be. And these guys are crashed because of the market, so we just need the market to fluctuate back up. But Freddie Freeman went for an 84 to an 87, and he has great contact and great power, just like last time. So I wonder actually how much went up, and we can go check him out because I did buy a bunch of him. I called that one. Uh, let's see, 87 contact. Uh, that I think that was actually normal. So I don't know exactly what went up, but yet again, he only has 60 and 60. I've hit six home runs with him, so it's almost all time in in this game. Another big mover was Shelby Miller. After not allowing a hit, or a hit until the bottom of the ninth with two outs, uh, they bumped him up to an 87. This dude's straight fire. 
The only bad thing about him is because I've played with him, I'm a Braves fan, and I want to use him, but the thing is, is he doesn't have too many pitches, and in this game, you just need different pitches like crazy and rotation, so he's just not really a good MLB The Show 15 pitcher, but he's an amazing real life pitcher, if that makes any sense. Another big mover was Russell Martin. He went from an 83 to an 86, and this was, people People were calling this for a couple days now, but as you guys can see, people are trying to cash out of him right now. So, when that all ends up, he'll settle down in price. Another big mover was Matt Carpenter for the St. Louis Cardinals. He moved up, uh, all these cards are cheap, so if you guys are looking for some cheap bosses right now, go pick them up, because you can run Todd Frazier, and he'll guarantee a home run if you can connect. And Matt Carpenter will always get on base. Uh, I recommend you guys pick up some of these players. Maybe even uh, 90 overall for 3750 I never pay full price for my players. So that's why I go off that price. But if you're greedy and want to buy it now, 4800 is where it's at. Just because of the packs that come out on the weekend that crash the market. And Chris Bryant did not really move. And people were trying to get rid of him early. I saw him for like 1500 Yeah, see, that's the buy now. Uh, some dude just wants one because they're a fanboy and wants him. But, yes, this is the market right now. So I recommend not selling, buying right now, and selling later. Another huge move was Brandon Crawford. This guy is going to be a gold next week, and I can almost guarantee that. He's had a hell of a year. And he's kind of like Angelton Simmons, like exact build, exact everything. And he just has to get the hitting down, and he will be a gold. But remember, there's always got to be one diamond per position, I think, is what they do. Uh, no, they don't. But uh, I think it's positional players, because I think that's why uh, they didn't drop out a diamond. Yeah, see, these guys got it. Andrew McCutcheon's batting 200, and he's a diamond. Uh, Bryce Harper's got it. Did anybody drop from Diamond? No. So, they don't have to have one in e Probably gonna be the last card we talk about is Edwin Encarnacion. He's had a pretty good year, but it's been up and down with strikeouts, I think. And, I don't even understand why they dropped him out. He went from an 86 to an 84, and usually if you're gonna get dropped out, you get dropped one, but he got dropped out all the way, and he's now like 1400 This could be a long-time investment, but look at this. A dude had a buy order in for 5500 last night, and I sold it right away because he was running like 6 k People thought that he was going to jump straight up, and Ryan Braun, he jumped up. Uh, I bought him, and then look, I bought Freddie Freeman for 900 and now he's going for like 2 k right now, but uh, it's going to go straight up. So look at this. See, I was flipping Edwin. I was buying him for 38, selling him for 42. That was just because the market was crashing and I wanted to get out. And then right here, I sold one for 55. So I tripled my profit on that. But I'll give you guys a rundown on how to look for that stuff some other time. Just let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see how to make coins and how to make stuff or stubs. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.